I recently completed a custom Google map that shows all the Wi-Fi availability in my particular city and I even added some little mini reviews of all the different sites that I located around my city and as you can see here on the Google map I've got pinpoints of all of them that you can click on and it's got a list over here on the left that you can scroll through and like any Google Maps it'll not only show you the address but also a phone number and again any information that I may have added like in here. So if you want to learn how to make your own customized map and it comes in handy if you're going on a vacation with other families or whether you want to do something for a club or your own website anything like that you first need to have a Google account log into your Google then go to maps.google.com and then just start searching. So if I search in the Google Maps search box for maybe hospitals in Grand Junction. So in the search results I can click the item that I want to add to my map and I can click save to my maps right here. Then I get an option to save to whatever map I currently have or I can create a new map. So we're going to click create a new map and save. Now over here on the left it says what do you want to make for the name of the map? I'm going to put Grand Junction Hospitals and then click Save and Done. Then I'll go back to my search and I'll find another hospital. Click on it one time. Click Save to my maps. I can choose GJ Hospitals from my list of my maps. Click Save and now I have two hospitals there. So I'll just click Done and Save. Now if I want to add extra information to those hospitals I can click one time on the hospital on my map now then click Edit over here on the left and I get a edit box where I can add HTML, links to other sites. Anything I want to add I can add there. Click OK. Same thing for this other hospital while I'm in edit mode. I can add anything I want to the site that I just saved there on the Google Map. Lastly, over here on the left, you're going to want to choose whether you want this to be a public map, which can, anyone can search for, or an unlisted map where you just have to give someone a particular link for them to find it. I'm going to make this one unlisted, so I'm going to click Done. And then if I want to share this map with someone, I can come over here to the link right here and it'll give me an option for me to copy this link that I can send to somebody in an email or if I want to embed the map in my own website I can click here and copy this particular code into my web editor and get it on my website. You can use these same link options whether it's a public or a private map and it becomes a great way to share maps with people in your group or family or whatever you are creating the map for.